I've gone ahead and installed App Zapper and Pacifist. What I'm going to do first is go into the iTunes folder, just drag this somewhere else. So I'm going to handily use the desktop here. I'll call it iTunes 11 Backup. Oops. And uh, yeah, save over there. So now what I'm going to do is uninstall the app. So we're going to open up uh, App Zapper. App Zapper. What we're going to need to do um, to use App Zapper is go up here to Preferences first and keep App Applications safe. You're going to need to uncheck this if you want to uninstall iTunes. Um, and then you want to get the iTunes app, which is going to be here. Okay. So, add that across. And it'll compile a little list of stuff to get rid of there. And that's it, you just click that. It'll make that noise, and everything's gone. So, we've closed that zapper now. And we're going to open the program called uh, Pacifist. Alright, so you've got to wait 20 seconds or whatever to, to piss off. Uh, what do you want now? Anyway, Pacifist is what you're going to use to uh, install iTunes 10.7. Okay, so we've got iTunes 10.7 here. And you just drag it into Pacifist. Let's open up this handy window. So the reason we're going to use Pacifist is to make sure that it um, overwrites all the previous things in iTunes 11. If you don't use this, you're going to get some error messages potentially when you try and uh, install it iTunes 10.7. To install it you need to just click there so it's highlighted. Click install here. Uh, you want to check administrative privileges and then click install. Okay and then you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get some of these pop-ups. File already exists and this is what you're talking about. Um, this is why we're using Pacifist to get rid of all these files. Check the box mark don't ask this again and just click replace. And then all the files that it needs to replace, it's just going to replace them. You don't have to keep clicking replace. I'm going to click replace with this. Um, and just make sure I use Okay, so um, Pacifist is run. So we're going to click that. So I've installed iTunes, but the iTunes folder is obviously missing from here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to restore the files. Okay, so what I've got here is a Time Machine backup uh, from a couple of months ago of my iTunes folder. So I'm going to use this to uh, just kind of restore that, if you will. If you haven't got a Time Machine backup of your iTunes folder, uh, you're going to want to use the copy on the desktop that we've made here. And how you're going to want to do that is open up iTunes, and then you want to make sure in the preferences uh, I think it's in advanced. Uh, when you copy files to iTunes, it, it's going to add them to the library and it will copy them to wherever you save them rather than uh, just index. That will mean you can take all your um, files from the desktop there, drag them into iTunes, and then it will add them to the library. It will probably create a copy and then you'll want to delete them from the desktop. Copied over the folders now, so I'm just going to open up iTunes and see if it works. Let's see. Yep, agree. Ooh, look, it's iTunes 10. Good, it's got my preferences there. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, iTunes is back. Yeah, so this is what you want to do. You want to just make sure that you've got copy files checked and keep that tidy. So that's all good. So just quickly then. I've got one more thing to add actually. Uh, if you want to try and get back a good play count and all the other some of the some of the other metadata from before, um, in iTunes folder, uh, there's a folder called Previous iTunes Libraries, and these are listed kind of in date order. So in your iTunes 11 uh, copy folder, which is either on your desktop or in a backup, uh, you want to take your latest one and this will be a backup of your iTunes library uh, file when iTunes 11 installed 
so it's kind of got all your play counts from just just when you installed it uh, so I've already done this but um, you'll find it in this folder so what you'll do is you'll find your iTunes library .itl, um, copy that paste it in here like I've done and I've just called it dot old in case it goes wrong um, and then you take your or your latest uh, iTunes library folder from, and this will be from the other folder from the backup I'm currently looking um, actually in my music folder at the moment uh, but it will look exactly the same from the backup and then you just copy it in and then rename it to that so you can just copy paste that and delete this file um, and then uh, make sure you do this while iTunes isn't open and then uh, open iTunes and you should have a fairly good play count if you have added any music while you were on iTunes 11 you'll need to add the music again uh, so for example if you've added a song in iTunes 11 what you'll need to do is just open it in iTunes 10 for it to be in your uh, library in the in the program iTunes um, and any metadata for that will like play counts and stuff won't be there so you'll just have to um, update that manually but yeah so that's just a quick um, a quick extra tip there. Hope that was useful. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Cheers guys.